you know, Weber's going to come in this week with their hair on fire. This is a Super Bowl for a lot of guys on that roster. Jay will have them coached up. They're, they're good at what they do. Uh, it sure is great to cheer for Weber State this weekend. The Wildcats did something on Saturday night that they had not done in 44 years. That's beat Utah State in football. And they did just win. They didn't just win the game. The Wildcats dominated that game. Even with three turnovers, Weber State intercepted four passes in the game, including a 33-yard pick six by Desmond Williams. Running back Josh Davis had 94 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And Ty McPherson had three catches for 89 yards and two scores in the 35-7 win. There was a comment made throughout the week um, that players got word of and um, so it was kind of our thing if they're going to say it was our Super Bowl for Weber State then we were going to make it a Super Bowl and they played that way they prepared that way and we got tough suckers that can play this game Utah State's Logan Bonner really struggled in the game he completed just 38 percent of his passes 12 of 31 120 yards he was picked off three times with him under center the Aggies have gone eight straight quarters without an offensive touchdown Understandably, the Aggie faithful became frustrated, and Coach Anderson didn't like it. That's the same quarterback that won a Mountain West Conference championship last year, the first one ever at this university. That's coming off a knee injury in less than nine months, and he's not the only person making mistakes. So it's real easy to sit in stands and boo, and I want nothing better than Cooper Lagos to have a great career here when his time has come. But he had opportunity to win that job in the offseason, and he did not. And he's a great number two, and he's going to be a really good number one. But right now, Logan Bonner's a starting quarterback. He deserves that opportunity, and he also deserves the respect. And I don't know how to say it any nicer. And a lot of our fan base showed true colors today, and it was embarrassing. And they can be mad at me, and, hey, we didn't, get it, we didn't get it done. We didn't win. But there's plenty of blame on that sideline to go around, not just one guy. And he did. Help us win the conference title last year, and it ain't been that long ago. I wish people would remember that.